What up, what up? It's your boy, the third eye, back at y'all asses again. This video is going to be very, very short and quick to the point, so I'm only going to probably be like maybe two or three, about three minutes long on this. This is just a continuation of my part two of my Super Bowl 51 decoded video. I just want to go on to the record and state because I've been, I mean, I mean, I've been having a lot of comments where a lot of people are asking me to... Um, attach my Super Bowl 51 Part 1 video that I originally made at the beginning of the season before the season started really getting down and dirty. And I tried to explain to a lot of those people that new subscribers and um, viewers that a few weeks ago, the first occasion was before that I was uploading certain videos and YouTube and Facebook were preventing certain of my videos being uploaded. Then about a couple of weeks ago, I went on and noticed that all my videos have been deleted from my YouTube account. And it's mighty funny because I have videos, including my Super Bowl 51 Part 1 video, where Tom Brady was on the cover, and I was, like, killing this shit. I was, like, telling all the details of my reasons why I believe the New England Patriots would be in the Super Bowl and not no goddamn Indianapolis Colts and in, in, Minnesota Vikings and what I just want to say to that is is that more on to that is that uh, I, I, like I said I'm not here to be playing no games with none of these motherfucking clowns and jokers and agents on YouTube and I don't give a fuck with all these down even if I got all these goddamn motherfuckers hating throwing all these down ridiculed comments and shit I don't give a fuck I'm still spitting and coming with shit every time like I told y'all, I choose and pick what I decide to make videos about. I don't just make videos about everything. I choose specifically what I want to make a video about. And I just want to say, because some of y'all, some of them motherfuckers that was all over YouTube talking all that shit about um, Indianapolis Colts and Minnesota Vikings, I just want y'all to know. I know I, I noticed I ain't heard none of y'all mention my goddamn um, name, you know what I'm saying, um, when y'all was giving y'all reasons why, oh, so supposedly, allegedly, that the script was changed. I don't hear none of y'all mentioning my name because y'all know, you know, like I said, I killed and squashed all that bullshit. And the reason why I'm putting this out is because I want to basically, like, let all you guys know that, yes, it was me. Your boy, the one and only Royal Third Hour that was the first one that was saying, when everybody was saying that it was going to be Colts Vikings, I was one of the only ones saying, no, it ain't going to be no Colts Vikings. And I had my reasons why both of them wouldn't be there. But nobody wanted to listen. But now I got now it um uh, basically we're at the end of the season, basically, and then you know, all these different people. I, I mean, a couple of them they they gave their reasons why and talking about the, the script was changed and everything, but then some of them they've been silent. I haven't seen no new video. You know, and like I said, majorly one of them guys, you know, saying I remember when I made this video, this 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 nigga had the nerve to comment on my video and, and like I said, talk about how many goddamn viewers and followers I got compared to him and like nigga you've been out way longer than me and i just barely started making this channel but i noticed i ain't seen him come with no another motherfucking video you know what I'm saying regarding his um his picks about super bowl 51 because he know he know he don't want to make no another video because he know i killed that shit i squashed his ass and um like i said back then when i made that video i said i wasn't going um um, say people name because I'm not here to promote other people, but now the season is over and I ain't hearing shit from that motherfucker. I'm going to go ahead and put his name out. What's that nigga name? Warrior Truth? Yeah, I squashed that shit. Killed all that little baby shit, all that shit you was talking. Killed your shit. Killed Zachary H Hubbard, whatever the fuck, the Hebrew Jew, whatever he want to call himself is. Dimitri Jew killed his ass too. Shut all that shit down. Like I said, so you niggas know, like I said, and all you people out there, when I make videos, I ain't fucking around. I ain't holding shit back. I ain't buck dancing for none of you motherfuckers. When I put, put shit out, I put shit out specifically. I choose what I want to make a video about. And when I have made that decision, what I'm going to make a video about, ain't no stopping me because I'm going to come with it. I'm coming with it. Like I told you, this ain't no goddamn game. And I try to warn you people. So to all those people that's viewing and commenting and saying, where's part one? I just want to let y'all know. The reason why y'all won't be able to see part one due to what happened a few weeks ago. But understand, this shit ain't over. I'm going to keep coming with shit. I ain't stopping. And like I said, YouTube, uh, Facebook, they can keep 
blocking videos, preventing from me uploading certain videos. They can keep deleting videos, but I'm going to still keep coming with videos. I'm going to still keep pushing, pushing and pushing because it's obvious they see something. It's always they see something. They see that I'm exposing some, some shit, the, the real shit, the natural true shit, the real diamond in the dirt. But the fact is, they want they, they object is they want to make sure that we eliminate this problem before it comes a big problem. Because as they see, well, wait, man, you know, this person doesn't have a gang, a gang, a whole lot, a lot of followers. It's not, you know, saying like viral. But maybe we should take care of this problem now before this person becomes viral where he has so many goddamn followers. And then now we just just losing money. And see, I told most of you. Do not go and put your fucking money up on that goddamn Super Bowl per early picks about who will be in the Super Bowl when you do not know for sure and guarantee who's going to be in the Super Bowl. But did you guys listen? No. You guys went on ahead, listen to Warrior Truth, the Demetria Jew, whatever the fuck he is, Zachariah Hubbard. You know what I'm saying? Y'all went on and listened to them. Why? Oh, because they have YouTube channels. And why? Because they got links to where they can link. You can go to their goddamn web pages and see all this flavorish damn web pages and shit and so you guys choose to follow them because they have uh, multiple different links to different sources web pages youtube instagram and all that bullshit <coughs> with me nigga like me i ain't got all that bullshit because i don't got i don't got time for all that bullshit i don't got time i don't need to have no goddamn instagram no goddamn web page no blog all that fuck all that only need one goddamn source when you give me a source where I can say what I want to say and make my videos and put it out when I put it, that's all I need. I don't need all these different goddamn sources to draw attention into people. Because see, what that is, that's kind of like a candidate running for president. You have people voting for a person or following a person by popularity instead of following a person by the righteous shit and the real shit they splitting and coming with. And so, you know. I went longer already than I said I wanted to go, so I just wanted to, you know, wrap this up just saying, like I said, I, I say what I say and I mean what I mean. I squash all the motherfucking haters, and I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Y'all niggas can keep coming with shit, and I still see comments where niggas are saying you a fucking idiot and all this shit, and you know nothing, but yeah, I don't know nothing, but I showed this, squash that shit, and my shit is still, still ripping. Put it like this. I told you guys in part two, I said that I see out of four teams... Who would be in the Super Bowl matchup against the New England Patriots? I said my first two picks was in when I, I labeled in, in part one was I said either the Detroit Lions or the Atlanta Falcons would shock the hell out of a lot of people because they would be the two teams that people wouldn't expect to make it on the NFC. And then I added Seattle and New York Giants in that mix in, in part two of my Super Bowl fit, um, um, video. I said that I could see it being a rematch of the Giants versus the Patriots or the New England Patriots versus the goddamn Seattle Seahawks. And please tell me or tell me not, since I don't know what I'm talking about. Is it or is it not all four teams on the NFC that I named that I can see making the suit to the Super Bowl? Are they or are they not all inside the playoffs? After the final week of the season, are all those four teams that I said that I could see being in the Super Bowl matchup against the New England Patriots, are they all in the motherfucking playoffs right now? Tell me that. Are they all in the playoffs? All four teams. Detroit Lions. Atlanta Falcons. Seattle Seahawks. New York Giants. But I don't know what I'm talking about. So, in closing, I just want to say is, you know what I'm saying? All y'all motherfuckers out there can keep hating, keep talking that shit. Y'all can keep following these motherfuckers that sit here doing a motherfucking a promotional celebrity race and shit, trying to get to and get the most followers by on um, popularity and shit. Y'all can keep on go ahead and following all them motherfuckers and keep ignoring the motherfucking true righteous motherfuckers all y'all want. But best believe, like I said, I ain't into no goddamn popularity contest and I'm not about to buck dance and none of that shit and coon for none of y'all motherfuckers. I'm going to drop shit how I want to drop it. You can like it and you don't got to like it. Whatever, it don't matter to me. So y'all know what to do at the bottom of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's your boy, the one and only Royal Third Eye, coming straight out of the spiritual conscious community, blessed with the eyes and horse. Peace and blessings.